Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get started with basics of Streamlit. We are going to make here a playlist which is going to cover working with text and display, working with text inputs, interactive widgets, progress indicators. We will be also seeing how you can work with the data objects, media files and then how you can use the plotting libraries, sidebars and navigations. Thereafter we will be also seeing how you can work with the layout and page configuration and then finally how you can use the caching and thereafter how you can deploy your Streamlit application into production. So we'll be starting from the basic. Just to get started with this you need to install Streamlit. It is very simple process to install this Streamlit. You just need to open your terminal. I'm just going to open my terminal here and thereafter I'm just going to write here pip install upgrade Streamlit. So this is what you need to do. Seems like this has got actually you know That one actually, you know, got, uh, 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 you know, overlapped with the predefined text data, but overall it's like this, pip install u streamlit. So once you install a streamlit, you will be ready. I mean, it will be ready for you to get started with the streamlit. And uh, repository for this project is given at Lakshmi Merit Streamlit tutorial. The description, I mean, to say that uh, the link of this repository is given in the video description. You will be able to get all these working files in this repository which you can find out from the video description. And another thing I should tell you that this course follows examples given in this book. In, in, in fact it's not exactly the same example but it closely follow the examples given in this book. I have gone through with this book. I really found that this book is very helpful if you want to make any data science streamlit application. I think uh, you can follow this book to make that application. Alright, so in the first application I'm going to make something like this where I'll be using text and display examples. I'll be using headers, subheaders, markdown, emojis, HTML codes. Thereafter I'll be showing you dividers and then I'll be showing you how you can use latex in your streamlit application. Alright, let's go ahead and get started with this. So this is our reference example and for this one we need to run our streamlit application with this file. But before that I should tell you that you need to write here pip install upgrade streamlit. So this is not necessary to write. I'm just writing it here so that it will be easy for you to install the streamlit. Thereafter you need to write here streamlit run 01. I mean to say that the file name working with the text and display. That's how you are going to work here. Let me just, you know, the turn off my copilot. Otherwise it is going to auto complete everything. So I'm just going to disable this. Okay. So I'm just going to run this. Once I run this here, then it will just, okay. Seems like this is not there. Stream lit. And then I write here run and then I give the name of file which I'm going to run 01 working thereafter I press here the tab it is going to take that file name automatically all right perfect so it has started at this address I'm just gonna copy that from there and then I'm just gonna paste it here so we have currently two application here one is our reference application and here is our application where we are going to build our current tutorial. So working with the text and display. So first of all, as soon in this reference application, we are going to start with the header. All right. I mean, this is the title and thereafter the header and then the markdown. So to set the title in Streamlit, first of all, you need to import Streamlit. So I import Streamlit as ST. Now you need to use this st going forward. So you can write here st dot title and then in this I say that streamlit 
text and display example so as you make changes in your file it will ask you to reload this file either you rerun this file or always rerun so i'm just gonna click on always rerun so it's going to run extremely text and display example so currently we have just title here so only title is displayed here now i'm gonna put here header so i write here st dot header and then i say that this is a header so this is highest level i mean the first level of header so the font size for this particular header is the highest you can see the second highest after the title there thereafter you can also use here the subheader as well so you can say that this is subheader so this is the third level of the font here available highest second level and here is the third level so this is the subheader and to display a normal text data you can use st dot text then you can say that this is a text data so here you will see that this is a text data now you see the font of this text data is different what we see here the reason is that because this is not this text emphasize this text is emphasizing whatever the content is inside this text uh, object there just to bring out here a uh, default text uh, font you can simply run here st dot write all right so once you run here st dot write and then you can see that this is you know default font there now you can clearly see that this is going to be a default font there all right perfect so now you see that that is how how you can use these uh, streamlit uh, you know the applications there so thereafter i'm going to write here some markdown you know markdown formatting so for markdown you know this is one of the special language so i'm just going to use here markdown cheat sheet markdown cheat sheet so once you do that then you just click on here you will be seeing all these you know the markdown syntax here so we will be using some of these syntax to work with our current application here so to address this markdown uh, uh, markdown you know syntax i'm just going to use here st dot markdown and then i'm going to say that this is markdown so one thing you will see here there is no difference between the text data what is shown here and here because by default it is taking this as a default text data if you want to use actually syntax of the markdown then you have to use these markdown syntax for example if you use here this one then it will be heading there so st dot markdown then you can say that here one has sign then there is a space then you can say that this is markdown heading now you can see that here so this says that this is markdown heading and similarly you put here markdown and you put here double has and then you say that this is markdown sub heading all right so you see there this is smaller than this one in fact you can use here even more than that st dot markdown then you can use here uh, triple hash then you say that this is sub sub heading similarly you can use four hash here so it will be even smaller you can use five hash here it will be even smaller so like that you can use these to make it even smaller and smaller so these are you know markdown syntax you can use other syntax as well for example if you want to make it bolder so you can simply use here you know double star so it will make it bolder so this you see the this one is a little bold than this one if this is not visible here clearly what you can do you can use that double star here and here okay so i use here these double star there now you see there 
let me just see that this one is uh, shown here in bold format there if you use a single star then it will be there uh, you know it will be shown in italic format there let's go ahead and see if you want to embed this particular link then how you can do that you can simply use st dot markdown and in this I'm going to use here double quote and then I say that markdown cheat sheet and then I put here link now you will be able to see that this is now a clickable link you can simply click that and then you can simply use the cheat sheet you can use any of this syntax you will be able to see that this markdown would be able to perform exactly like you perform in traditional markdown files there so I'm just gonna put here uh, three uh, you know three double quote so that I can write it into a multi-line format so let's say if I want to write something like this so first item second item I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here thereafter you would be able to see that one two and three it's like that but if you use this one then you would be able to see their unordered list there so first list is ordered list and second one is unordered list so you see there this is very simple to use this markdown even you can use these formats to show the code as well so let's say even in this markdown I can use that code format as well here itself so you see there the code format is there but there is uh, you know other methods which you can there are other methods which you can use to display the code in a streamlit so this is the way you can show the code format using the markdown language or markdown syntax in the streamlit let's go ahead and see how you can use the emojis into the streamlit so using emojis are also very simple I'm just gonna search here streamlit emojis you will be you know shown here a link so there is a shortcut of this streamlit emojis here let's go ahead and display some of these emojis there alright so I write here st dot markdown and in this first of all I'm going to display some of the you know I mean I'm going to first display the link of the emoji emojis and then I'm just gonna copy this link from here and then I'm just gonna paste it here so that I can embed this emoji link there so if you check it here you can click on this emoji and then there is a clickable link so it has loaded here you can see that if you want to show emoji 100 you need to use this one one two three four you need to use this one so let's go ahead and use some of these emojis so I write here st dot markdown and then I use here 100 let's see if, if this is visible perfect so this is perfectly visible there let's say if I want to use here uh, you know one two three four so I use here one two three four so this is emoji code which you can simply use here and you can use a smile so a smile emoji will be displayed here okay this is not displayed maybe uh, for a smile something else could be there I need to find out let me just search that actually it's very difficult to find out yeah okay so a smile is there so I need to put here you know uh, the colon I, at the start and end there so now you can see there there is smile even you can use other emojis as well any of these emojis you can just pick and then you can use suppose that you want to use this one you can simply use that one you see there these emojis are there you can use any of these emojis in the markdown so as given in this list you can use any of these in the markdown in 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 the markdown but obviously you are using here a streamlit so you can use these very easily perfect so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching this I'll see you in next one